Hey everyone, welcome to English class. Let's look at our learning goals before we start. Our first learning goal is I can define prefixes. Remember, define means to tell what something is or to tell the definition. Then we're going to specifically define the prefixes pre, re, and by. We're also going to use them so we can understand how these word parts change the meaning of words. For today's lesson, we're going to go on a field trip. Have you seen this train before? Can you make an inference about where we're going to go? I don't know about you, but I'm really excited. Let's start. If you were able to infer that we're going to Hogwarts, you're right. Do you recognize this person? Maybe you've met them before. This is Professor Iso Iba, and they're the charms professor at Hogwarts. Last semester, you might have met her or another teacher that taught you about word roots when you made your own spells. Today, she's going to teach us some more. Welcome, children, back to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I'm very excited to show you around our beautiful campus. We're going to be traveling by evaporation, so make sure you hold on tight to your workbooks. Let's go! Welcome, welcome to our potions classroom. Today, we're going to use my crystal ball to ask some questions about prefixes. Now, because I'm the charms teacher, I am an expert about word parts, which includes prefixes. So let's get started. Oh, crystal ball, crystal ball. What is a prefix? Children, what do you think a prefix is? Let's ask the crystal ball. Crystal ball, what is a prefix? Ooh, the crystal ball says a prefix is a word part added to the beginning of a word or to a base word. So children, do you think the prefix is going to change the meaning of the word? Oh, I'm not sure. Let's ask the crystal ball. Crystal ball, will prefix change the meaning of a base word? The crystal ball says yes, so that means when we add a prefix to a word, the word meaning is changed. Hmm, I wonder, can you think of any examples of a prefix? I bet you know a lot. Think a bit. Hmm, what could be added on to the beginning of a word? Crystal ball, what are some examples of prefixes? Ooh, the crystal ball gave me the prefix by re and pre. I think these sound quite familiar. What about you? Hmm. So what do these prefix mean, children? Think about it. If you need to pause, you can. So the prefix by means two. Oh, that makes sense. Like a bicycle has two wheels. The prefix re means again. Hmm. Like if I want to recharge my scooter, I'm going to charge it again. Last prefix before. What does it mean, crystal ball? It means before. Mm, like if I'm going to take a pre-test in class, that means it's a test I take before the rest of the class. All right, children, let's go ahead and continue on our tour of Hogwarts. Oh, oh, children, I'm so tired. I'm feeling very, very sleepy. I'm just going to drink some coffee while we're in the Great Hall, and then we can continue on our tour. <gasps> oh, my goodness, what is this? Ah! This isn't coffee. This is a, a cloning potion. Oh, no! Oh no, children, it looks like Professor Iso accidentally drank a potion, which made many of her. But which one is the real Professor Iso? And now they've run all over the castle. All right, guys, I need your help. We need to figure out which is the real Professor Iso. We know that Professor Iso is an expert at word parts and prefixes. So if we travel around the castle and ask them questions about prefixes, we can figure out which is the real Professor Iso, and then we can do a spell to get rid of the fakes. 
Come on, let's go. Let's evaporate to another part of the castle. All right, everybody. This is the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. Today, first years have a pretest so the professor can find out what they already know. All right, guys, we need to ask all the professor ESOs in this classroom what pretest means. The one that knows the answer is most likely the real professor ESO. So let's ask them Hey, what does pretest mean? A pretest is a test done before a lesson. No, you're wrong. A pretest is a test you take again. No, no, no. A pretest is a test that has two parts. All right, children, what do we think? Which one is the correct answer? Is it the red, blue, or yellow? Are you sure? All right, I'm going to cast a spell. Great, the Professor Issa with the red box was correct. All right, let's go eliminate some more. Be careful, the grand staircase can move at any time. It starts, stops, and restarts at random. Hey, Professor Issa, what does restarts mean? Restarts is to stop twice. Restart is to start again. Restart is to start before. All right, children, what's the correct answer? Is it the yellow, blue, or red? Are you sure? Let's try. Nice job. We found another possible real Professor Iso. Let's All right, we're in the library. The library is a great place to study. Many students reread the textbook before the OWL exams. Hey, Professor Iso, what does reread mean? Oh, I know, reread means to read before. No, reread means to read two books. Oh, I know, reread means to read something again. All right, which one's the correct answer? Are we sure about that? Okay, I'm gonna cast a spell. Nice job, guys. We found the real Professor Iso. All right, I heard that some of the professors have left Hogwarts, so we're going to need to evaporate outside the Welcome to Diagon Alley. Hogwarts students take a biannual trip here. Hmm, Professor Iso, what does biannual mean? Biannual is something done before something else. Biannual is something done twice a year. No, you're both wrong. Biannual is something done again. Okay, students, which one's the real Professor Iso? Who has the correct answer? Let's cast our spell. Oh. Nice, the real Professor Iso has the yellow box. Come on, let's find the last remaining face. It looks like the Professor Isos have gotten food at the Leaky Cauldron. When you cook, you need to preheat the oven. Professor Iso, what does preheat mean? Preheat is to heat before. Preheat is to heat something again. No, no, no. Preheat is to heat two things at once. Hmm. What do we think the real meaning of preheat is? Is it the red, blue, or yellow? Let's cast our spell. Nice job. The red one is the correct answer. All right, we've almost found all the f f fake Professor Isas. There's just one. All right, welcome to Ollivander's wand shop. Mr. Ollivander lost his bifocals and he can't see without them. Hey, Professor Iso, what does bifocal mean? 
bifocals focals are glasses with two lenses. No, bifocals are glasses used again and again. You're both wrong. Bifocals are glasses used before. All right, children, what is the correct answer for the definition of bifocals? Let's cast our spell. Great job, we eliminated all the clones of Professor Issa. Thank you children so much for helping me. I would have been in big trouble if you weren't here with all those clones pretending to be mean. Thanks for your help and please come back and visit Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry at any time.